Android 12 introduced the Windows Blur feature. So with this feature, you could blur all the windows or other applications which is behind your application. Okay, so in this example, we have this window in the foreground and whatever behind is blurred. So this is without blur, this is with blur, this is again with blur. So in this video, we will explore this feature. First, we will enable the Windows Blur feature in the AOSP build and then we will create a sample application which makes use of this functionality. The sample app will look like this. So this sample app blurs the background window and it shows a transparent window on the foreground. So let's get started. So first we have to enable the blur feature within the AOSP build or the emulator. So for that, first we have to set the surface flinger property to one. You have to basically copy this code to the device.mk and um, set the arrow.surfaceflinger.supports background blur to one. Okay open up the window device.mk file and add this line of code to enable the background blur. So after changing the device.mk and saving the file, we have to of course build the AOSP. So I have already built it, so it will finish up quickly. Okay, so in case if you are not an AOSP developer, you could use an emulator which already supports it. Android 12 emulator coming with Android Studio already supports that. You can just check it out. So now let's have a look at the app. So the app is pretty simple. So it has only one main activity. And in the main activity under on create, we manipulate the windows. So within on create, first we set the flag, flag blur behind. And then we call a couple of methods set blur behind radius with this value and set background blur radius with this value okay so these values are hard coded here 150 and 50 and then we attach a state change listener here and on view attached to the window we add this listener basically so we add cross window blur enabled listener and this is defined here so and what this does is it sets the dim amount blur is enabled it will set to 0.1 else 0.6 and at the bottom we set the flag flag dim behind to the window so that's all the main activity does. And another thing to note is that in the manifest, you need to use a transparent theme. So I have defined a transparent theme within the themes.xml. So here uh, you have to basically make the window translucent so that the window is transparent and you can see whatever coming behind. So otherwise it will be a white background and you cannot see whether the windows behind your application is actually blurred or not. So now let's go ahead and run it. So now you could see the background is blur and the activity is coming on top. I'll show the activity as well quickly. So in the activity, I have just a text view. So in the text view, I have this text and the text size is 50. So that's coming on top. Since the window is transparent, it, we can we could see the background and the background is blur. Now one more tip, you can enable or disable the windows blur from the ADB shell command. So you could enable the windows blur if you set the disable blur to zero so if you want to disable the blur set it to one so now you can see the blur is gone okay so now if i rerun the app again you can see the blur is no, no more there okay and you can enable the blur by setting the disable blur to zero so now you can see the blur is enabled so in case if you are trying out with the android studio emulator please make sure you set the disable blur switch it between one and zero to make sure uh, whether it is enabled or not okay so i hope you learned something out of this video so in case if you like the content please subscribe to this channel thank you